ADSBN is so valuable to help us be aware of traffic and then also to spot traffic. What I'd like to try to do is keep the scope, whatever it is, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone or maybe a scope that, that you've got inside your cockpit, up as high in your vision as possible without blocking the windscreen. If it's down on your knee, then you have to worry about transitioning down from your head uh, upwards. Whereas if you've got it up somewhere, the outside world is in your field of view as you're looking at the traffic. And it makes it easier to go from the traffic to try to spot it to the outside location. Okay, so let's set up going into Carroll County. And here are the things. We want to get our weather long before. We got the ASOS. ADSB so helpful way out here. We can see there's several people in the pattern, at least three people. Coming into a non-towered airport, so first of all, we just have an awareness that that's where most of our mid-airs happen. So realizing that we're convening on a place at an altitude where other pilots are coming to the very same spot in the sky. So I want to get a feel before I even arrive if there's anybody in the pattern or anybody that's coming in from an arrival in one direction or another. And then of course you kind of combine that with your listening skills as you're coming in listening to the radio and hearing for people call traffic. So you begin to map what you're hearing with the picture that you're building on your iPad or your, your ADSB end screen to what you're seeing outside your windscreen. So that's what I've found is helpful is have the ADSB up so you're looking at the traffic, you have a feel for how busy it is. You're now listening as you approach inbound and as you get closer in, you can begin to expect where you're going to see traffic and that also helps your flow into the traffic pattern, how you want to enter it. So here's some conflicting traffic probably coming in for uh, Carroll County also. And they're coming in at a place that's hard for us to see, 600 feet high. So here's a case where now we've got, we built a pretty good picture with our iPad, and now we're going to go totally outside and look for, for traffic. And then another skill we can begin to build with the ADSB traffic is beginning to see, to draw a picture of where it is on our iPad and how that relates to what's outside on our screen. So for example, if it's 20 degrees right of us, right of our nose on our iPad and it's 500 feet low, where is that in relationship to our, our dash and our panel and the whiskey compass that sits right in the middle of the dash? Is that 20 degrees traffic a fist width to the right of that? Is it slightly below the horizon, slightly above my cowl? We can, as over time, doing more and more of this, you can begin to build a picture for what those degrees are and how they relate to fixed pieces of equipment inside your cockpit. That's about uh, three, to zero. three to four miles. Miles west, right down, right So we'll look and see. That's at our left, 11 o'clock, two miles, nine hundred feet above us. And there it is. So from here, yeah, we'll stop for five, three, just three, above this uh, V bar. So that's a good reference for me in the Super Cub is referencing that V bar. When they're in between the V-bar and the canopy uh, forward brace, it's about left 10 o'clock position. What I've also found helpful is the use of call signs. Now, full call signs with tail numbers helps you build situational awareness as you're coming in with your ADSB in. You can begin to map the call sign you're hearing on the radio with where that traffic is supposed to be and then picking it up visually. So using our full call signs coming into the pattern, I feel like is a help now that we have ADSB to help back that up. Carroll County Super Cup 517, Mr. Charlie's three miles south of the field. We'll set up to enter a left downwind for uh, one six at Carroll County. There is, there is a danger of staying too fixated on the iPad or this nice eye candy with all the devices and the computerized images because it is compelling. So we have to force ourselves to realize that's a tool and to incorporate it into the other tools that we have, which is of course listening, then most importantly our visual scan for how we're going to come into the pattern and what we actually see as a conflict. So it's really important as you come in that you begin to transition to where at some point when you enter the pattern, that ADSB in is no longer a part of your scan. You're completely focused outside on flying your pattern and looking at looking for different traffic in different directions. Just like any kind of cross check in aviation, you can't afford to look at one thing for too long. Same thing for looking outside your cockpit. You can't afford to stare in one area of your cockpit for too long. 
we were all skeptical of ADS-B when it first came out. And then when it came out, we saw there was so much more traffic than we ever knew was out there, so much more that we never saw traffic that was near us. And now we have situational awareness on the traffic. So incorporating this new technology into our rhythm just takes time and it takes proficiency.